Hey gang, Lou here. So, past couple of videos were kind of simple. Um, again, we are working on building a bankroll. <clears throat> we're not looking for daily income. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to combine two systems. Alright, uh, now I did this in another video, but I used two different systems and I did, used a different money management system. We all know that martingales can be dangerous, <clears throat> and they're not a fan. Not everybody's a fan of a martingale. However, they do have their place, and I'm going to attempt to show you where they have their place. So, we have our clean shoe here, ten thousand dollar balance. We're going to knock this down to our seven hundred dollars that we start with. And player wins. So, what are we going to be doing? We are going to be betting the winner of the top of a column along with opposite, opposite, same, opposite, opposite, same. Or as more people call it, uh, banker, banker, player, banker, banker, player. After two players come out, two or more players come out, or player, player, banker, player, player, banker, if two or more bankers come out. Now, why do I say two or more? Very simple. <clears throat> Let's say you're playing that column, right? From the bead road. And you're four down. And that's where you win. And you somehow have, on the main road, have two of something or three of something or four of something that's on the main road. Start betting opposite of it. The further down a streak gets, the better chance you have of it switching sides. So, let's see if we can't make a hundred bucks uh, playing those two systems. It's not that hard. This is part of what I use in my daily casino routine. So, going to the history. Like I said, clean shoe. Banker, if you look at the bead plate. Uh, top left is the blue. Player came out. So we're going to start betting player for $5 until player comes out. And we're going to martingale five times. If you lose that row after five, that's it. You're done. Move on. So. Banker one there. Martingale ten. Okay. Easy enough, right? Now, when we look at the main road, we don't have two of anything. So... We just keep taking free hands. Got a little chop. Okay, so we have two bankers in a row. All right. So now we start betting player. And we got that one. All right, great. We're up 10 bucks. Pretty easy, right? Look at the... Bead plate, player came out, so now we're going to start betting player. And we missed. And we missed. Now, here's where the interruption comes in. When we look at the main road, we have two bankers. Although we haven't completed our column, but we look at the main road. The main road has two bankers, so we interrupt the column to bet on player. Uh, let me just double check something here. Okay, so in 5, 10, 20, so this next one should actually be a $40 bet. Because we missed the first two. Okay, and we got that. You kind of see how that works? <clears throat> Alright, so we take a free hand now. Player one. So, we have player in the top of the column, but two players down the main road. So now we have a fork on a road. Well, the opposite, opposite, same takes priority. So we start betting banker. 
and we got that. Now, why doesn't playing the column take priority? Because you have more of a chance of losing a column than you do of doing opposite, opposite, same. All right, so we're up 35 bucks. We don't have a match of anything on the main road. However, on the bead plate, player hasn't come out yet. So I'm going to go back to playing player. Amazing, we got that. So, <clears throat> we... One on player on the column. We don't have two in a row. So, another free hand. Okay, we got two players. So now we start betting banker. That was a miss. That was a miss. My fault. Uh, so that was two opposites. Now we do a same. So it's going to be 20 on player. Okay, we got that. All right. And that also sets us up for our next column to start betting player which I don't feel comfortable about, but let's see what happens. Okay, got that. So we're halfway there, 750. All right, and we also have a string of, we have a string of players on the main road. So what does that mean? Start betting banker. Yeah, why don't you look at that? Almost like I knew that was going to happen. All right. So, we won the column for player. We won the opposite for player. So now, unless two more bankers come out, we just take a bunch of free hands here. That's a player. Got one banker in a row. Nope. Got two players in a row. All right. And again, sets up our next column on the bead plate to start betting player. However, we are playing, we are prioritizing opposite, opposite, same. So, in this case, we abandon the column and we start betting banker. You think whoever writes this would get rid of the ties? Uh, so that was a one banker miss. That was a two banker miss, and so now we start on player. Right? Opposite, opposite, same. Okay, so we missed that. Back to banker. Missed that. Banker again. Missed that. And now we go 160 on player. And got on the last one. I don't know about you, I was getting a little nervous there. All right, so we're $40 away, right? So we have three bankers in a row. We have player in the column, so we can consider that a player win for the column. So now we start betting banker. And we got that. Not so bad so far, right? Everybody keeping up? So, uh, we'll let the column complete unless another banker comes out. And now at the top of the next column, we have a banker. So now we start betting banker. And we got that. All right, we got a chop going on, so nothing to do right now. 
Okay, so we have two bankers in a row on the main road. So we start betting player. Nope. Nope. Now it's two opposites, so we go to banker for the same. And we got that. All right, so now we're less than $30 away, right? So, take a look at where we're at here. We have our column on the bead plate that's a banker. So, we start betting banker. And we got that. Not so bad, right? <clears throat> Pardon me. Not so bad. Now, we have a row of bankers. So, let's start betting player, because you know the streak is going to end soon. There we go. <clears throat> Man, your voice is kind of cutting out tonight. It's been a long day. So we won we won the banker column up on the bead plate. We won the opposite here. So unless another player comes out, again, we just sit back and enjoy the ride. And if you hear that munching, that's my dog eating in the background. 11 o'clock at night, he decides he wants to eat dinner. All right, so there's two bankers. So we start betting player. And we got that. Now, we are $12 away. See how easy this is? Okay, so we have player at the top of the column on the bead plate. So, we bet player. And we got that. Now, on the main road, what do we have? We have two players. So, we do our opposite, opposite player, right? So, we're going to do five on banker. Got that. Nothing to do right now. Three bucks away. Okay, we have two bankers on the main road. Nothing to do with the column. So we bet player. Nope. All right, there you go. And you even got an extra $2.25 to go out and get ice cream with. All right, guys. <clears throat> I... I just some closing thoughts. So as I explained in my other videos, I take a little bit from everybody's systems. <clears throat> and I can't say anybody has a wrong system. And we can all agree nobody has a right system. Because nothing hits all the time. So, in this case, I've found two systems that work for me, and I've put them together, and I use them in this sense to keep myself profitable. All right, now... As you all know, uh, I go for 2% per shoe. I play five shoes a day. I compound my daily interest every day. All right? That's what works for me. Now, here, we just made 100 bucks in 13 minutes. You're not going to do that on a day job unless... You know what? You're not going to do that on a day job. I don't care if you're a welder. I don't care if you're a doctor. Um... You know, maybe if you're a day trader, maybe if you got in the whole Bitcoin, Dogecoin, AMC, all that mess that was going on in the stock market. But that is a pretty good 13 minutes in my book. Uh, now that's here. In a casino to go through, oh, what do we got here? 54 shoes, you're talking, oh, 20, 25 minutes, I guess. Uh, that's still not bad money. And we didn't lose our six Martingale, right? So the idea of my channel is to build a bankroll. You can use this system for daily income if you want to. I think it's a volatile system to stay in a shoe for that long. But just to prove that it can go an entire shoe, that's why I did this. Um, I have to find out if my computer has screen recording capabilities if it does i would love to do a live 
uh, session on the site that I fly on uh, to show you how I actually do it in real life. It's the same as I do here, but just to show you that it actually does work in real life. I, I add 10 to 20% to my bankroll every single day, uh, playing multiple shoes. And it works. And again, you know, you go through the interest calculator like I showed you in the first video. You, let's see if I still have it here. Uh, don't mind all the stuff that I've been looking at online. Here's one of my, here's one of my shoes from today. This was a... Uh, a two percent shoe for me. All right, uh, I keep my own scorecard, so um, so I was very happy with that. Oh, I know why I can't find it. Uh, here. All right. So let me turn my phone. I don't know if it's going to work for you guys. You may have to actually. You know, hold on a second. Okay, so the um, interest calculator, right? So we do the same thing. If we take our $700 and we do 20% per day. So on $700, I would have had to add $14 to my account. Here we just added 100. You do that over 60 days. Yes, that's correct. Um, let me hit the calculate button again, just so you guys know I'm not lying here. It should come out to around $39 million in 60 days. Now, unfortunately, most casinos, especially online, you can't bet that much. All right. Uh, but just to show you the breakdown. So this is February 6, 2021. So if we were to start today, okay. Um... I'm sorry, $140, not $14. Dummy. Um, but look, hey, one shoe, we just did 100 bucks, right? So how hard would it be to do another 40 And we up our bets as, the, as our bankroll goes up, right? Well, just take a look at this. So in 30 days, your account balance would be, and I'm looking at the blue column all the way over on the right, $166,000. And you're adding $27,000 for that day. Now that's well within the limits of online casinos. The thing to remember is that the amount you bet is inconsequential. What matters is the percentages. So I keep my bets at 1% of my bankroll, right? And I go for two, I'm sorry, half percent. Wait a minute. Yeah, 1% of my bankroll, and I go for 2% earnings per shoe. Five shoes a day, that's 10%, okay? So if we take a look at it, at 10% over 60 days, comes out to $213,000. Well, <laughs> that's still not bad for two months worth of work. All right. At 30 days, you're in for 12000 On your last day, I'm looking down here at day 60, very last line, your amount you have to add is $20,000. Okay. So you think of it this way. If you do $1,000 per bet, all right, with a bankroll of $193,000. If you do $1,000 per bet, you win five times in a shoe, and you play five shoes, that's $20,000. That gets you to where you need to be. Pardon me. So, it's just simple math I'm using here. All right, if you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. I will type out in the description what I'm doing. Um, until I see you next time, go out there, have fun, be responsible, make money. 
It's the casino's job to take as much money from us as they can. It's our job to take as much money from them as we can. Until I see you next time, be well.